Hello my friends and welcome on this video tutorial. Daniel is here on tips to fix and today I will show you how to replace the hard drive for this laptop with an SSD drive. So I just bought this new Dell Latitude is very fast computer but because it's with hard drive uh, it's not uh, performing fast. So what I have to do today I will show you step by step uh, exactly what you need to do to replace the hard drive from this laptop with an SSD drive. So what I have here, I have uh, Patriot is an SSD drive. I use Patriot because it's an American brand and it has a three years guarantee and it's not that uh, expensive. So this one is for uh, is 480 gigabytes and also I have here what you need. And the next thing you need to have is an uh, USB USB to SATA connector a extender so I will paste the link on the description and you can find this easily on Amazon so uh, next another thing we need we need to have a screwdriver I will paste also the link where to find the screwdriver to open up the laptop and change the, the, the hard drive and replace with SSD drive and these are the tools we need so I will show you exactly what to do right now on this video tutorial so first thing I have to do, I have to test the speed of this hard drive on this laptop right now. We have to download the Parkdale. Parkdale is some software. It will help us for testing the speed of hard drive. As you see, the computer is very slow. I'm just open up the Google Chrome and uh, let's search for Parkdale. Okay, so here is uh, Parkdale measure reading. So Parkdale software. I will download it for Windows because this is Windows 10 and uh, here it is just go on the downloads close go here on downloads open up Parkdale double click on this and here let's make the test the speed test okay I, I just have a Toshiba here Hard drive is 400 gig 400 gigabytes. Just click start and read. You see, writing speed is um, 80 megabytes in second. Okay, very slow. We will see after that. We will make it. We will make a test with an SSD drive and see how much faster it will be. So this is the write speed, okay? It's 90 megabytes in second. Reading speed is 100 megabytes. Yeah, it's uh, yeah a little bit more than writing. Always reading is more faster than uh, writing speed. Okay. So this is the test for this. Okay, guys. Okay, next step. We need to find a software for cloning our hard drive to an SSD drive without losing any data. So what I use is, okay, EasyAS, here it is, EasyAS Data Recovery. Let's go here on uh, Backup and Restore. Let's go Total Backup Free. Let's download this software, it's for free. You put your email address here. I don't want to use any email address. Okay, download it for free. I will paste the link on the description and you can download it directly. Uh, you can download this directly from uh, uh, tips to fix website. So what I'm doing now, I'm installing this free software. Okay. Let's install Easy's Toto Backup Installer. Install it for free. Okay. Protect your data symbol, clicks and restore everything instantly. So next step is we have to unbox this Patriot SSD. We have to connect this SSD drive here on the laptop using this USB SATA extender to connect with this SSD drive and connect on the laptop. So let's do it right now while uh, this software is installing on the computer.
let's unbox this Patriot hard drive, Patriot SSD drive, and here it is. I really like this one. Oh, look at this. Okay. Okay, nice and clean. Let's remove the boxes out there. We don't need it now. And this small brochure. Okay. So, what's next? We just need to connect this SSD drive with this connector. Okay, here it is. And connect it directly to the laptop. Here we are. Okay, let's click start now. Remove this and here we will see another thing and we do here. We can put here on any chance later. We can keep it for free. Okay guys, up and up. Close this window. Here on the menu, click the menu and click go here on the clone. Okay. You have, you have to choose the hard drive you want to clone. In my case, I want to clone everything from hard disk zero. Okay. And here we have a known, not initialized SSD drive. Click next. Okay. And here you will click advanced option optimize for SSD don't forget this option is very important click OK click source so we choose this disk 0 and now we need to choose the target and target it will be this one the second one hard disk 1 we will copy hard disk 0 to hard disk 1 and as you see click next and you will see the source is disk 0 and target is disk 1. This is the full capacity of uh, uh, OS NTFS, OS C NTFS. It will be cloned here on OS B NTFS with this capacity. Okay, guys, click proceed. Okay, so the process just started the first step is initializing clone partition and you we will have to please wait okay please wait so we are waiting now this process will take maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes depends on your capacity of your laptop Okay, it's 42% and it's been 4 minutes. Okay, guys, as we see, uh, the disk uh, partition clone, it's done successfully for uh, one hour and four minutes. So what we have to do, just we have to click here, finish. And now this is the moment when we need to shut down the computer and we will replace hard disk, the hard disk with this uh, new SSD drive just uh, we just cloned. Shut the computer down and we will replace the hard disk. Okay, so now we need just to replace this uh, SSD drive. We just clone up. What we have to do, we, we have to open up the computer from, from the back here. Here, let's use this screwdriver and it's a plus here yeah i don't so let's remove these screws one by one 
Okay. Okay. Three. Another one. Okay. Okay, let's remove this cover. Here it is. Okay, let's remove this cover. Remove the back cover. Here it is. This. Careful with this. And here it is. Okay. So we see here the hard drive. We have to remove this one. You see? We have four screws here, and I will remove it. Let's remove one by one with the same screwdriver. Okay, remove one. Okay, here it is. Disconnect this old hard drive. We need to remove this frame because we need the frame. Okay, there are also four screws here. Remove one by one. One. Two. Okay, we will remove this from this case. Okay, this is the hard drive, and we will put here an SSD drive. Okay. Here we are. Make sure you put in the right side. So make sure you see where is the right the right side. It will be like this. But make sure it's the right with connector. So the hard drive will be it will be like this. Because the connector it will be like this here. Okay guys? So let's tie these um, screws now with a frame, with hard disk frame. And the last one, four. Okay? Here it is. Now we will connect SSD drive with the connector here on the laptop. Okay. And we will put it back here on the on the laptop. Okay. So let's put back the four scrolls here. One. Okay. So put the cover back here. And let's put the cover back here and make sure you put everything right and tight this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we can see how much faster it is. So here it is, as you see the computer, it looks much faster now. I will make the test with uh, Parkdale software. Okay, let's see. Let's open up web browser and see. So if you see, it's much faster than before. Okay. Let's try to open up a software. Let's try to open up this one and look at this. It's very fast. Let's test this SSD drive now for speed. Okay, look at this, guys. It's 330 megabytes in second. It's three, four time, four time faster. Look at this. It's 400 on reading, on reading speed. Hey, guys, it's a big difference on speed. Okay. So I really suggest you using an SSD for your laptop and will be incredibly fast. So thank you guys for watching. This is how we change the hard drive with an SSD drive. I just clone everything. We didn't lose any data. 
we just clone from this old hard drive from this uh, very brand new Dell laptop and uh, change it with an SSD drive now it's much faster as you saw the video so thank you guys for watching god bless you and don't forget to subscribe tips to fix